weather, news, sports, and more. This is the Warrior News, Wilson source for news and information. Broadcasting from Wilson Area High School, the Warrior News starts right now. Good morning, Wilson. Today is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2016. I'm JJ Brito, back on the Warrior News after a long period of time. It's been difficult not being able to deliver your news, but nonetheless, I'm here alongside with Ben Heinmarch. Let's get to your Warrior News. Today is Go For A Ride Day, so Ben, how will you be celebrating this wonderful day? Well, JJ, you can catch me on a sleigh, a horse, or just simply a car. You name it. Well, I might have to celebrate uh, today in the Caleb Calling Mobile, but I do hope you enjoy your day, and I hope Mr. Ryder came to school on a bike today. If not, the Warrior News as a whole will be very disappointed. In other news, new scholarships are now available and guidance. Deadlines are quickly approaching, so be sure to apply for these opportunities today. JJ, I'm sure you've done this already. Uh, well, Ben? Come on, JJ. Anyways, uh, all Wilson baseball players must hand in their fundraiser by December 14th. If there are any questions, comments, or concerns, contact Coach Henkel. Ben, would you like to HJOWHF? What's that? Help JJ out with his fundraiser, of course. But uh, the National Honor Society will be holding a bake sale every Friday outside of the cafeteria before school. Stop by to purchase delicious homemade baked goods. Ben, next Friday that we have school, I'm expecting a cake outside on my desk in first period. No promises, JJ. But the National Honor Society will also be holding a canned food drive from now until Christmas break. Please donate fresh, canned, and non-perishable foods and drop them in the collection bin outside of the main office. Now we send you over to Wilson Weather Authority meteorologist Michael Jablonski with your AccuWeather forecast. Good morning, Wilson. I am Chief Meteorologist Michael Jablonski here with your AccuWeather forecast for today. We will have a high of 44 degrees, as you might have noticed this morning. It's going to be very windy throughout the day, but uh, nice weather overall. For tonight, we are going to have the low drop down to 27 degrees. And you know, we'll be seeing lows throughout that, frankly, throughout all of winter below that freezing point. For Wednesday, we're going to have a high of 47 degrees, sun and cloud at times, not as windy. And then, of course, for Thanksgiving Day, very important day, it looks like it'll be the only day over the break that shows a significant amount of rain. We will see showers throughout the day, though it shouldn't freeze or turn into sleet. But overall, that is the uh, Wilson weather outlook. We should ha also hopefully have more for you about Thanksgiving break. But uh, for now, we're going to head over to the trivia question. We haven't yet to stump the anchors, but hopefully we'll, we'll get stumped by this one. <laughs> this one is uh, in honor of Thanksgiving. Which th the first Thanksgiving Day parade was held by which department store? <laughs> the answers are A, Kohl's, B, Gimbel's, C, Macy's, or D, J.C. Penney's. We'll get the anchors in a moment. It's Macy's we'll from go, New York. We'll go with Macy's. From New York, well. I know this. It's Macy's. Let's go Macy's. It's Macy's. He only, he only said that answer because I said it. No, I knew. Well, you can see why everyone would say Macy's. It is the most popular, but believe it or not, it's actually Gimbel's B. In Philadelphia in 1920, that's when it started. Macy's eventually took over not too long after. Yeah, and I uh, threw a little uh, wow. hook there for you. All right. Um, well, that's obviously rigged, but thanks, Michael. The November edition of The Echo, your school newspaper, is now available in your school Gmail. Yes, you can check out news articles written by some of the top writers in Wilson. There will also be a newspaper club meeting after school today in Mrs. Girl's room, room 203, to assign December articles. All members must attend. Attention juniors, if you sold any Little Caesars pizza kits, please give order forms to Mr. Friedoff by the end of today. There will be no exceptions, and Ben, gladly, you and I are not juniors, so we have nothing to worry about. And before we go, we would like to congratulate our very own Worry News anchor and creative, mas uh, creative mastermind, Brandon Miller, who will be signing an intent letter with St. John's University to play Division I baseball tomorrow. Great job, Brandon. Also, Ben, if you didn't know, our cheerleaders had a competition at Southern Lehigh this past Sunday. Uh, were you aware of that? No. Well, uh, somehow Becca took first. I don't really know how. We, we got second, though. But at the end of the day, you know, who's seen Mickey? Wilson. Uh, well, that about wraps it up for you today. We thank you for joining our live broadcast. Uh, be sure to follow Warrior News on Twitter and Instagram at Warrior News 15. I'm JJ Budo. I'm Ben Highmarch. Have, Have a wonderful day. day, Wilson. Mistletoe, I'm gonna get to know.
know you better This Christmas And as we trim the tree How much fun it's gonna be together